Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today I have a new build for you. I figured that because we have those custom words to test out on public test server, I will use them to actually create a new build. Of course, I didn't change any difficulty settings. It's all the same as live game version and I only use it to get necessary gear and to respect my character for a shotgunner. Especially now, I wanted to see how well it will work because as you know, the seasonal cookout event with Gram is coming and new awesome heavy shotgun Pepper Shaker will be added. Therefore, yeah, I figured that's the time to take another look on the shotgunner and adjust accordingly because my last build is quite old. Then without further ado, let's jump into the perks first and legendary perks. Let's start from the legendary perks and that's the only build I did with combination of taking one for the team and follow through in one build. There is a reason for that. Uh, basically, follow through is very useful when I run in regular armor and I use stealth. And if I would like to jump into the power armor and use a pepper shaker later on, I have taken one for the team, already equipped and ready. Plus, if enemies accidentally shoot me with a stray bullet, uh, when I'm sticking, it still activates. Then, yeah, then I have combo follow through, taking one for the team, and four best specials that you can choose from legendary perks: legendary agility, intelligence, endurance, and luck. If you are a new player and you don't have yet access to all the legendary perks, uh, no worries. I will link a build for like level 50 shotgunner without all those perks yet available. But for my showcase, of course, I want to show fully finished build. Then here we go with legendary perks. After that, regular perks. Uh, I have two loadouts actually, but uh, we'll be using only this one as Pepper Shaker is not yet available. Then let's go over stealth load loadout first. Traveling Pharmacy, Cam Weight Reduction, then Scatter Shot for faster reload and lighter shotguns. All the shotgunner perks for damage, uh, reason for that, we are full health built in here. Uh, next, a Skid Shooter, that's awesome. If you are shotgunner here, yeah, you want this accuracy. Concentrated Fire, I will be using VATS to do maximum damage uh, when possible. And here, Green Thumb and Panapictographist, but after the Grenadier perk, will be changed and will apply to all the weapons, it will be replaced with Grenadier. But for now, as Grenadier do not work yet with explosive weapons, then those perks here. And the Endurance Fireproof Kenfent, we don't actually need super tankiness here as we are stealth build, then I figure no need for extra health, but those two are necessary. I mean, Kenfent is not necessary, but really handy. Uh, next. Charisma, I have Tenderizer for extra damage, Strange in Numbers, as Shotgunner is amazing, especially with a team, if you can support your team, then yes, this build works great with a team. And I equipped Philanthropist for the first time I'm using it with this build, and it's amazing when you have those teammates that refuse to eat, then you can force feed them, then that's very <laughs> cool to do. I figure that's the perfect time to force feed your teammates. If they refuse food, we force feed them. Uh, next we have Party Boy for extra perception from Sweetwater Special Blend. And if not required, if you don't want to run Party Boy, swap it for Inspirational. Uh, next, Scrapper, Gunsmith Demolition Expert under Intelligence, where Gunsmith is not necessary as currently shotguns are super durable and really do not break. Then if you need like carry a little bit more 2 mil ammo, batteries included will be a perfect replacement. Uh, after that, under Agility, Food to force fit your teammates, then through high guys in here, Adrenaline for damage, Enforcer for this super crippling ability, uh, Escape Artist, Covert Operative, Gun through Sneak, because it's a sneak build, full health, then max out sneak. And of course that for damage. Uh, under Luck, Class Freak, as we have a bunch of mutations, a Curator, if you think about using some bobbleheads or magazines, 
That's great, double the duration. Good with salt, we want our food for longer. Star jeans and Grim Reaper sprint, it's super helpful as shotguns tend to use a lot of AP and with full health you have limited AP pool, then that's helping. Uh, next, about our gear that we are using in here, uh, generally I recommend combat shotgun in your arsenal, any really combat shotgun. What you are looking on combat shotgun is any useful prefix. It, I have aristocrats here, I have like a perfect roll, but whatever you will get is useful, is good. Uh, explosive bullets are good. Alternatively, you can have here VATS hit chance will be great as well. And less AP cost, that's one of the most important ones. Like even if you have bad first and second star, but you have this less AP cost, uh, that, that's good, still good. Next, I have a suppressors combat shotgun. This is to help on the team a little bit when needed. If needed, it's not always, but sometimes if you see that your teammates are dying, you can use suppressors shotgun and enemies will do less damage. 25% for five seconds, it's decent. It was really bad, but now it's decent. And of course, the most important weapon in the arsenal, two shot gauss shotgun. And you really want it to be two shot? If you will get vast hit chance, amazing. If you don't, two shot is important part here. Two shot increased damage tremendously. It makes it a real beast if you have it with a two shot. Then those are the weapons. It will be pepper shaker here as well in the future. If you have different shotguns, like this build works with about any shotgun, then don't worry about that. Under armor, oh, uh, I forgot to heal my rats. It is a full health build. I was just shopping and for shopping, I did a yielding. Okay, that's fixed. And about armor, it's basically a legendary solar armor. And here about the rolls, there is nothing really super important as the reason for solar is healing for you and your teammates. The passive healing, what's been the best healing. Healing that you don't need to think about, it's the most useful one. Then that's why the solar, uh, I have two pieces with life saving, just in case something will kill me. That would be amazing to be safe from death, but it shouldn't happen. Uh, the important thing is if you want something on your armor, poison resistance on one piece, that will be great. Here I have slowly regen radiation damage while not in combat on my third star. And this is awesome to have one piece like that as it saves you thinking about radiation. It heals it slowly for you then that's awesome. If you will get over eater pieces, of course, that's great. But then basically, I don't have too much requirements in case of armor. I would just want you to have one piece with poison resistance and one piece with radiation regeneration. Then that's it. Only those two effects, then I think you should be able to roll them as there is no other requirements. Uh, about modification on armor, in case of a torso, you want to have shadowed asbestos lining. Alternatively, uh, you can have biocom mesh on torso installed. Both works great. I prefer asbestos lining to have this extra fire resistance. And about your limbs, all of them should have shadowed and ultralight. Those are the modifications for you. And only place where you can get those modifications, as you cannot learn this modification, you need to buy it in here. Uh, from the Modus Armory Terminal. Therefore, yes, you need to have access to Enclave Bunker. About Under Armour and Backpack, I prefer high capacity to carry more stuff and Secret Service Under Armour for this nice endurance and perception. Although Under Armour, up to you. It's not necessary to use this one. Now about mutations. As you can see, I'm not using adrenaline reaction and the reason for that with solar armor my health will be always 100 percent then that mutation is redundant then i don't have and all other key mutations are here bare bones eagle eyes egghead empath herbivore hair mentality marsupial scary skin speed demon and i think i explained it so many times why this combo in every single of my builds then I will not go over it again. Those are the great and the best mutations for any team build. And now let's visit some super mutants and I will show you how it works. And I will start with my suppressors combat shotgun because I want to show you what damage you can expect if you actually don't have like really good shotgun. Oh, the modifications I forgot to tell you. 
Preferred one, hard net receiver, a line barrel, forceful stock, perforating magazine, reflex sight, and suppressor. That, those are the preferred modifications. And let's see how well it will work on level 100 super mutants. And you can see two shots. Then it doesn't matter what kind of what kind of shotgun you will have. Level 100 super mutants will go down in two shots. Then. You cannot complain on that. And in case of aristocrat, uh, let me see if it's possible to one shot them. I'm not sure because they level 100 and aristocrats is not helping as much, but okay, yeah, it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. And stealth, you shouldn't have any problem with stealth. Like scout armor is really good for sneaking. Okay, it's possible, not always. Then I was lucky with other one. Yeah, it's possible to one-shot them sometimes, but not guarantee. Uh, there is like, in this game, there is kind of randomization in the case of multi-projectile weapon, how the damage will register. Sometimes doing more damage, sometimes doing less. Uh, you will just used to it. If you will be playing shotguns, it's not a problem. Now, the best, of course, is this one. It's Gauss shotgun, preferred modification, hard net receiver, extended barrel, forceful stock, perforating magazine, and reflex sight. And in case of this shotgun, unlike other shotguns, uh, you actually want to aim for torso. And you can see two shots without charging, sometimes one shot, depend how the damage register. But it's normal, like don't be worried if your damage is not super consistent. It's how this stuff works. Those are both one shot. It's not a silent weapon though, then you need to be aware that you'll be getting in danger, but because you have escaped artist equipped, you just run a little bit away and sneak again and you will quickly go back to caution if you are in front of enemies. If not, then you need to run towards them. Okay, he cannot see me, even though I'm in danger. Yeah, sometimes it works like that. Now I'm in caution again. Yeah, you, and you are full health, then you can take a hit occasionally and you can see that I do not heal as I don't need to. Now I need two shots. Relocate. Back to sneaking. Incursion. And that was a weird miss because I hit him, I crippled him, but it, it, he didn't took damage. It can happen. Can happen to the best. And you can see my health is regenerating all the time thanks to the solar armor then. Even though they will detect me, it's fine. Now, about fighting Scorchbees. As you know, it's a little bit annoying they can fly and that can cause some problems. But with shotguns, you shouldn't have too much problems. You just try to shoot her wing and that will force her to land. And she's landing. That's as simple as that. Therefore, you don't really need to face a flying enemy, then I will just use my two-shot Gauss, get in range to have nice hit chance and spam it. Yeah, without Grenadier it's not working. See, without Grenadier it's not working, the Grenadier needs to be fixed. Therefore, for the Scorch Beast, I will still use my combat shotgun, it's look like. Okay, uh, is, is your wing still crippled? Yeah, you should be... Oh, not fully crippled. Come on, cripple. Cripple! Is it crippled now? Yes, it's crippled now. We need you back here and I need to be hidden. In caution. Perfect. Now, with this shotgun, even though I cannot do explosive damage... Oh, come on, go away, all of you. I need to shoot head. Okay, now I'm doing some damage. See, by shooting head, I'm doing damage even though it's... Up. And she decided to fly away and I have a bunch of Scorch on me. Okay, deal with Scorch first. I should be able to just one-shot well them in the head. Uh, please register damage. I ask you nicely. I ask you nicely to register my damage. Oh, now, now good. Now much better. Yeah, when they register damage, they do die in one shot. Stop it! Alright, good one. And I have Scorch Beast back. Fighting Scorch Beast will be way easier when 
the grenadier we apply to all weapons. But as you can see, I kill her here quite nicely. Uh, sometimes enemies refuse to register for damage. It is how it is, unfortunately. But usually when it works, it's super good. Now, just for the sake of showing you easier fight, I will show you how this will look like after grenadier will get fixed to apply to weapons. Now I will try to use my Gauss shotgun on this Scorch Beast. I need the wing. It's crippled. Perfect. She will land. And I will target Torzo. Oh, come on. Scorch, stop running here. I'm trying to target Torzo. And look at that. Almost, if not the Scorch that staggered me. Look at this. I left her with 1 HP. Oh, come on. Die. Dead. With improved explosions, you can see I can do it even without VATS. In VATS, outside of VATS, it's working perfectly fine, whatever the scenario. And that's why we need Grenadier fixed, especially for Gauss weapons. Done. That was way easier fight with this Scorch Beast, as you were able to see. That's how it will look like with Grenadier perk fixed. And... At the end, I will show you my power armor build prepared for Pepper Shaker. Oh, but some of you probably want to see how the special for each loadout look like. Then this is a special without legendary perks for a stealth loadout. And this is the special without legendary perks for tanky power armor loadout. And now the tanky power armor loadout perks look like that. We have only one rank of each shotgunner perk. We have blocker added for tankiness. We have one rank of each heavy gunner perk. Uh, apart from that, scattershot traveling pharmacy, similar skid shooter, but less of concentrated fire as will not be using the VATS almost at all, only a little bit when necessary. Uh, more tankiness, which means life giver is added in here. A similar situation under charisma, but we have team medic because no solar armor, therefore we'll be using steam packs and recommended torso here for power armor is medics one because that will use a lot of steam packs and help our teammates and us. Then that's why team medic max out is in here. Uh, under intelligence, we don't have a demolition expert anymore because pepper shaker is not explosive. Then it's not no need for that. Under Agility, we have through hike, adrenaline, enforcer, born survivor, only eight points because yeah, no sneaking in power armor. And under luck, a class recurator good with salt star jeans and addition of bloody mess and ricochet. As we'll be still running a full health, then extra damage can be necessary. That's why bloody mess is in here. Otherwise, I would not recommend, but for full health, when you really need to add a little bit of damage, it's good. Of course, legendary perks are the same. And that will be everything in regards to this build. I hope you guys enjoy my Jack of All Trades shotgunner build, and I'm really happy with it. It performed way better than I expect it would. Like, I wasn't expecting it will be so good and smooth, right, for the most part, apart from the rare occurrence where damage just do not register. You need to be aware of that. It can happen with shotguns, especially explosive ones. If you have non-explosive ones, uh, damage register 99% of time. But if you have explosive one, yeah, it's doing this tricky stuff that sometimes do not register. The good thing is, because you notice I was not really using too much explosive shotguns in the past, explosion cannot cripple, do not apply enforcer effect. And that's bad and good. The bad thing is, it doesn't cripple enemies when they are hit with explosions. The good thing is, when you are hit with your own explosion, you do not cripple your own limbs. Then <laughs> That's perfect. And shotguns are really like impotent in doing self-damage. Therefore, yeah, you can safely use explosive shotgun at close range. Then if you have fireproof, of course, equipped. Then I think that will conclude this video about Master Shotgunner. Let me know what you think. Are you going to try a shotgun build? I'm certainly am going to try a shotgun build when the pepper shaker will drop. So I will be hunting some good pepper shaker. I really want one. It's so, such a cool gun. I cannot wait. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.